is all you'll need to make that delicious Indian restaurant side dish. Brinjal bhaji, an aubergine, small onion, chilli pepper, a couple of tomatoes, one inch piece of ginger, a couple of cloves of garlic, some mustard seeds, a little pinch of medium curry powder and some turmeric. First thing we're going to do is the aubergine. So just prick it with a knife or a fork, whatever you've got that's pointy. Then put a large gas ring on and place him on there. If you haven't got a gas ring then stick it in the oven for about half an hour. You're just going to keep that on the gas ring 15-20 minutes. Keep turning it, your skin will burn, don't worry until it's nice and soft, so then you know it's cooked inside. With your aubergine burning away on the gas rings, time to get your onion and chilli prepared. And you're gonna finally chop them. And unless you've got the skills of a chopping ninja, use a mini blender if you've got one. With your onion and pepper done, time to get on with your garlic. So use a garlic crusher like this, or just chop it up as fine as you can, and then your ginger, which you're going to grate. Into a pan, there's a little bit of oil and a little knob of butter, and into there, you're going with a teaspoon of your mustard seeds. Keep frying them until your mustard seeds start popping. When your mustard seeds are popping nicely, it's time to go in with your onion, chilli pepper and your ginger. And then you're just going to cook them through for five minutes. With everything cooking nicely, Time to give your garlic a couple of minutes as well. When your aubergine's had enough, looks like it's been in a battle, take that off the heat, let it cool down and you're going to peel the skin off. Then it's onto the tomatoes. Give them a wash. Best way I find is to cut them into quarters. And take the seeds and the little green bit that no one wants. And put your knife in. You can of course leave the skin on. But to save your eating tomato skin, I like to cut it off. You've got a lovely piece of tomato flesh for your dish. When your aubergine's cooled down a little, it's time to peel it. It's gonna make a mess with all these black bits. Don't worry about it. With your aubergine and tomato ready, it's time to go in with a bit of curry powder. Only a touch because it's a really strong flavour. And a level tablespoon of your turmeric. Give them a stir and 30 seconds frying to allow them to release the flavours. Then into there with your tomatoes and your aubergine. Put them on a low heat and let them simmer away for five minutes. And finally if you like, to add a bit of colour some freshly chopped coriander. Gives it a bit of colour and adds to the flavour. And again, give that a couple of minutes to cook through and wilt down. And there you have it, a delicious side dish. There's enough there for two portions, unless you're greedy, and there's enough for one.